Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank all of you for coming to this very special event. It's the Rad Wolf's Benefit, organized by North Carolina Preservation Society. And as the president of that society, it gives me great pleasure to chair this event. This promises to be a great and momentous evening for all of us because it is devoted to the Red Wolf's benefit. You are here today and I'm pleased of it because you paid for it $500 per person and it means that you care about animals, especially about endangered animals like Red Wolves. Our community is a defender of wildlife, and we're proud of it. And we're proud that our society can protect animals, and that our country can pass legislation to protect our animals. Today, there are only about 20 red wolves left. You see, it's not enough. That's why you're here today. Just look at these marvelous red wolves. Can you say them goodbye? Mm -hmm. The red wolf is a smaller and more slender cousin of a gray wolf, which we all know. It is gray-black with reddish, with beautiful reddish cast that gives it the color for which it is named. The red wolves were originally roamed throughout the eastern United States, as far north as Pennsylvania, and as far west as central Texas. But the red wolf was persecuted relentlessly by people who mistakenly believed they posed a threat to livestock and humans. Now suppose you realize how the seriousness of that problem and that the time, it, it's a great matter of time, because maybe in some years we'll not see them anymore. And that's why I would like to, in, to have the solution for this problem and to share it with you. To prevent the red wolf's final demise and to ensure its long-term survival, the North Carolina Preservation Society is created a species survival plan it means that we will capture the remaining animals, especially red wolves, which numbered fewer than 20. Can you imagine just this number, fewer than 20? And they will successfully bred in captivity and their numbers will increase steadily over the years. But now perhaps you may have some concerns and worries about how these animals are going to adopt in the wild after being for so long in captivity. And for, the, for that purpose, we'll have a predator reintroduction problem with which the red wolves will be able to adopt freely to the wild and they will mate, they will reproduce and hunt effectively in the natural habitat. The red wolf 